everyone, today's video is going to be a Christmas elf inspired makeup look. This one is inspired by Abigail Vance on Instagram, I absolutely love her, she's so so talented. So when I saw her version of this Christmas elf, I had to give it a go. So it's not going to be identical, but I'm going to try my best to recreate that sort of style. So if you want to know how to go from this to this, then just keep watching. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to be doing is brushing through my hair and applying a wig cap. I have got a little bit of a sore throat today, if I sound a little bit nasally, that's why. Okay, so now the wig cap is applied, I'm going to actually make the elf ears and try and mimic them as best as I can. Now the only way I think I can actually do this is by using tape first to form the shape of the point as big as I can. Then I'm going to mould an ear shape using liquid latex and cotton wool. So the very first thing I'm doing is I'm taking some sellotape and I'm going to kind of fold it in on itself to form a triangle. You want to keep playing around with the tape until you're happy with the shape that you have made. So once you have that point that you like and you're happy with, just place it against your ear like so and then you want to tape this to the back of your ear. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to use liquid latex and some cotton wool to form the ears. So I'm going to pour some liquid latex into a little bowl. So I'm going to rip some cotton wool and take it all the fluffy sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of cotton wool and I'm just going to rip some of the ends just so it's a little bit jagged on the end and keep the top as it is. I'm then going to dip my finger in some liquid latex and just coat the back of this. The latex is going to act like glue. So once you've coated the back, I'm then going to pop this over that sellotape and fold it back on itself. And with the remaining bit of the latex, I'm going to soak that cotton. So I've added a bit of latex to my actual ear at the bottom, and then I'm going to take the fluffy cotton wool that we've got and I'm gonna kind of just connect this one to my ear so it has some sort of layering process and it'll actually stay in place rather than being just on top and it not looking like it's connected. The more fluffy piece of cotton and layer over it again and then soak that in latex. I just want to make a little ridge for inside the ear so I'm taking some more cotton the fluffy insides and I'm going to kind of make it into like a sausage shape and I'm going to put this along the inside the top sides to try and mimic like an inside of an ear, of an ear. so very gently because this is really thiddly so lay that down push that down Okay, so once you've done both of your ears and you've let them dry, it sounds so weird saying that, but this is what they'll look like. Very pointy and spuckish. <laughs> I think that's the right word from Star Trek. I'm not a Star Trek follower, so I'm not really sure, but they're very pointy and that's what I wanted them to look like. Because the wig is so big and curly, I want them to be a little bit sticking out from the wig, so I had to make them quite big to stand out properly. So now I'm actually going to go ahead and colour them in and I'm going to use this. This is the Dermacol Makeup Cream and this is in the shade 208. So I've just popped some onto a little tray and taken a fluffy brush and I'm going to just start painting the ears. Once I've painted the ears I'm then going to take that foundation and go over the skin with this. I'm first taking a paddle brush and then I'm going to blend out the foundation using a sponge. Now I'm taking the collection Shirley's powder and I'm going to set the whole face. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my soap brows by taking the transparent soap from Pears. Taking the spoolie I'm just going to brush up the hairs. Now I'm 
Now I'm going to take the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm going to contour my cheekbones and kind of pat it back into the hairline. I'm also going to put some on the tip of the nose just to shorten it a little bit. Now I'm taking the NYX blush in Mocha and I really want to go heavy with the blush. So right over where we popped the contour is where the blush is going. I'm going to round that up on my temples up to the top of my forehead. Also go along the jaw. And then bring it down the very top of the neck and down the sides. Also going to apply a little bit on the tip of the nose. Now moving on to some highlighter and I'm taking the Balm's Mary Luminizer. I'm just going to pop this on my cheekbones for that real big glow. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply this beautiful sea green wig that I love. I've already gone ahead and curled it so I'm going to go ahead off camera and pop this on now. Okay so the wig is on, I'm loving it. I think it looks really good with the ears sticking out, it just looks so cute. So now I'm going to move on to the eyeshadow. I'm going to use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. I'm going to use Living My Best which is a beautiful bright red. Okay so using this red, I'm use this on the end of my nose and the nostrils and just blend. I'm going to take a contour brush and that same colour and go over the contour a little bit more just to deepen it a bit more and make it stand out more. I'm also going to take this on the top of the eyebrow here and bring it straight up. Going back into living my best and now I'm going to work this on the inner corner of my eyebrow and the inner corner of the lid and really pack that on. And upwards. Now I'm going to move on to the Morphe James Charles palette. I'm going to take this colour right here called Social Blade. So I'm going to pop that on the outer corner of the eye. Going underneath as well. And then bring this all up. And then right in the centre I'm going to take blank canvas and just press that in the center. Next I'm taking this eyeshadow next to it and this is called Daddy. Uh, I'm just going to pop this on the outer corner of the lid just to deepen that a little bit. Now I'm going to move back to the Jaclyn Hill and I'm going to use Living My Best again, that red. And with this I'm going to go in the centre of the lip. Then I'm taking the PS Velvet Matte Lipstick Crayon and this is going to go in that centre of the lip and then blend out. Now I'm going to take the Kylie Cosmetics Gel Liner in Snow. With this I'm just going to pop this on the waterline. Now I'm going to move on to contacts and I want to go for that 
white contact look so kind of like a blinded elf it looks really whimsical looking these are the white mesh lenses from pinky paradise now i'm going to take some snazzaroo face paint in white and this is going to be like some freckles all over the face and i'm just going to randomly start dotting this using a fine tip brush for my freckles Now I'm going to take some PS Lash Primer, and this is white, so I'm going to pop this on my lashes, quite a thick coating of this, ready for the fake lashes afterwards. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply some fluffy white lashes. These were so hard to find anywhere online, so I had to make my own. And these are basically just regular wispy lashes that I painted white from the Kylie Cosmetics gel liner. And then once that's dried, I popped a pigment on top which was white. And then I glued on some little feathers to the ends and the middle as well, so it looks really fluffy. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these custom lashes on. And then last but not least is a wreath that I handmade myself that I'm just going to pop on my head for my hat. And this is the finished look. So I really hope you enjoyed this magical Christmas elf inspired makeup tutorial. I will link Abigail Vance down below in the description box. She's so, so talented. So definitely go ahead and check her out. I follow her on all social medias. I love her. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to be notified of all my future videos just like this one. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.